all your friends seem loved up and happy, but you are still searching for the one, the one that loves you like you love him. It's hard. You're scrolling through your feed, seeing happy couples, wondering when it will be your turn. Maybe you think love is just around the corner, or maybe it feels like a puzzle you can't solve. Today, we're going to change that by talking about how you can find your person. Hello everyone and welcome back to Couch Psychology, Life and Love Explained. Today we're exploring a truly compelling topic, finding the love of your life. Let's face it, in the age of quick swipes and fleeting connections, establishing a deep and enduring relationship seems more challenging than ever. But it's absolutely possible with the right approach and mindset. Now, we're not just talking about finding anyone, we're talking about finding your person, you know, the one who not just completes your sentences, but complements your soul. The journey isn't just about seeking someone who fits a list of traits, but uncovering deeper compatibility and mutual understanding. We're talking real connections that make every single day brighter. So in today's discussion, I'll share six pivotal strategies grounded in psychology that aren't just theoretical, They're, they, they work in real life. We'll explore why certain methods attract certain people, how to cultivate your own attractiveness, and how to recognize when genuine love is staring you back in the face. But before we jump in, remember to hit the like button if you find our talk intriguing, and subscribe for more insights on life and love. Oh, and keep watching because at the end, I'm going to reveal a personal insight that might just transform your love life forever. So let's start with understanding your own love language. Understanding your love language is crucial in navigating the complexities of relationships. A love language refers to the primary way an individual expresses and receives love. The concept developed by Dr. Gary Chapman includes five different languages, words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. By identifying your own love language, you equip yourself with the knowledge of what you deeply value in relationships. For instance, if your primary love language is words of affirmation, you feel loved and cherished through compliments, verbal encouragement, and affirmations. On the other hand, if acts of service speak louder to you, you appreciate when your partner does things for you, perhaps taking chores off your hand or helping you manage your responsibilities. But why is this important? Understanding your love language isn't just about enhancing personal satisfaction. It's about clarity and communication in relationships. It allows you to express your needs clearly and, and also to understand what your partner requires to feel loved. This mutual understanding can significantly reduce conflicts and enhance the bond. If you and your partner can cater to each other's emotional and expressive needs effectively, you're more likely to build a resilient and fulfilling relationship. Start this journey by observing what actions or words from others make you feel most appreciated and loved and communicate these needs clearly to potential partners. Lean into emotional availability. Emotional availability is perhaps one of the most significant predictors of a successful relationship. It encompasses the ability to share feelings openly, receive your partner's emotions without judgment and be present in moments, both big and small. But becoming emotionally available requires introspection and occasionally unlearning, unlearning some of the protective habits we've developed over time. Being emotionally available means more than just being there. It involves active listening, empathy and vulnerability. For example, when your partner shares something personal, 
responding with empathy and without immediately trying to fix the problem can make them feel truly heard and supported. This builds trust and deepens your connection, laying a foundation for a robust and happy, joyful relationship. However, achieving this level of openness isn't always straightforward. Many of us have built walls due to past hurts, which can make us reluctant to fully engage emotionally. But these walls often do more harm than good, preventing us from forming deep connections. Start by exploring your emotional responses. Are you quick to shut down when certain topics arise? Do you find it hard to share your feelings openly? Addressing these questions can help you understand where you might be holding back and how you can start to lean into more meaningful interactions. Practice expressing your feelings in smaller, more manageable situations to build your comfort with vulnerability. Number three, the myth of the one. The idea of the one is a romantic notion popularized by countless books, movies, and songs, suggesting that there is one perfect person out there who is destined to be your soulmate. However, this concept can not only be misleading, but also damaging to our understanding of relationships. The truth is there are likely many people with whom we could form deep, loving relationships. The notion of the one puts undue pressure on relationships to be perfect, often leading to disappointment when real life conflicts and challenges arise. Embracing the idea that there might be multiple right people for you can change how you approach dating and relationships. It encourages a more open-minded and less pressured perspective where com compat compatibility and mutual growth become the focus. Relationships are about finding someone with whom you can grow, share mutual respect and support each other's individual journeys as well as your journey together. Consider the principles of compatibility like shared value, common goals and mutual respect as the real criteria for a successful relationship. These elements are much more indicative of relationship success than, than any fated match. Think about the relationships around you. Many thriving relationships consist of individuals who might not be perfect, but are committed to making it work through communication, compromise, and shared experiences. By focusing on building a relationship based on mutual respect and shared values, rather than finding the mythical one, you set a more realistic and fulfilling path to love. Number four, attraction beyond the physical. While physical attraction is often the initial draw in a relationship, its role in long-term satisfaction is comparatively limited. Beyond the physical, attraction must evolve into deeper, more enduring forms if this relationship is to last. The deeper attraction includes emotional bonds, intellectual compatibility, and shared life goals, aspects that sustain a relationship long after the initial spark of, of, of physical attraction has faded. Think about the conversations that you, you find most engaging. Are they based on looks? Of course not. Or are they based on shared interests, ideas, or dreams? Intellectual compatibility, where two people find stimulation in each other's thoughts and conversations, can be a significant attractor. It involves more than just agreeing with each other. It's about challenging each other's ideas, inspiring growth, and learning from one another. Similarly, emotional bonds are strengthened when you share experiences that resonate on a deeper emotional level. Whether it's traveling together, facing life's ups and downs, or sharing personal triumphs and failures. These experiences build a tapestry of shared memories that deepen the connection. Focusing on building these aspects of attraction requires time, time and genuine interest in discovering who the other person is at their core. Encourage open dialogue about hopes, fears, passions, and vulnerabilities. 
This not only helps build a stronger connection, but also lets you see if your life goals align. Remember, sustaining a long-term relationship is about embracing the complexities of another person, which go far beyond their physical appearance. The role of self-growth in attraction. Self-growth is an attractive quality because it signals to potential partners that you are engaged in your life and committed to improving yourself. It encompasses physical fitness, intellectual development, emotional maturity, and spiritual growth. People who are actively improving themselves are more likely to be positive, resilient, and interesting. Traits that are universally attractive. Physical fitness, for example, not only improves your health and appearance, but also boosts your confidence and energy levels, making you more engaging and lively in social situations. Intellectual growth, whether it's through reading, taking courses or engaging in new hobbies, makes you more interesting to talk to and can enhance your sense of humour and perspective on life. Emotional maturity involves understanding your emotions and handling them responsibly. This includes managing anger, practicing patience, showing empathy and maintaining a positive outlook. These traits are crucial for healthy relationships because they contribute to a harmonious and supportive environment. Lastly, spiritual growth which doesn't necessarily mean religion, but can involve any pursuit that gives your life meaning and context, can make you more peaceful and centered. Qualities that are attractive in a chaotic world. Committing to self-growth also shows potential partners that you are capable of self-reflection and change, which are important for navigating the ups and downs of a relationship. It demonstrates that you are someone who won't stagnate. Instead, you will evolve and adapt as life changes. Engage in activities that challenge you, push you out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. This makes you not just more attractive, but also a, a, a better partner. Number six, communication as a foundation. Effective communication is the bedrock of any strong relationship. It involves more than just talking about your day or sharing your likes and dislikes. True communication requires the ability to express your deepest thoughts, fears and feelings in a way that your partner can understand and empathize with. It also involves listening actively and with intent to understand rather than to respond. Good communication can resolve conflicts, deepen intimacy and build a strong foundation for the relationship. It requires honesty and openness, qualities that allow for vulnerability with your partner. For instance, being being able to discuss your insecurities or disagreements without fear of judgment is crucial for building trust. Practicing good communication also means being aware of not just what you say, but how you say it. Tone, timing and context all play significant roles in how your message is received. For example, discussing a sensitive issue during a stressful time may not always yield productive results. So understanding the right time and approach can make a significant difference. Additionally, non-verbal communications, such as body language, eye contact, and physical gestures, play a crucial part in conveying your feelings and reactions. These cues can often tell your partner more about your true feelings than words alone. To improve your communication, start by practicing active listening. This involves really paying attention to what your partner is saying, reflecting on it and responding thoughtfully. Ask questions for clarity instead of assuming you understand. Openly express your needs and encourage your partner to do the same. This two-way communication creates a strong mutual understanding that can withstand the challenges that relationships often face. So there you have it. Six strategies 
that can genuinely steer your journey towards finding the love of your life. This isn't just about finding a partner. It's about finding the right partner who aligns with your aspirations and your values. Remember, love isn't found. It's built, nurtured, and cherished. For now, I promised you a reveal, and here it is. The most unexpected yet simple truth about finding love is that it often happens when you're not actively searching for it. Instead, focus on being the best version of yourself and love will find a way into your life. If this video resonates with you, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with anyone you think might benefit from it. Your engagement helps us grow and continue to providing valuable insights. So here's to finding and fostering love in your life.